Hey guys, Shamir. Let's go over a quick adult echocardiography quiz. Let's go ahead and dive into this thing. Click on the letter corresponding to the area representing the wavelength. Is it A, B, C, D, E, or F? The answer is the letter F. What this diagram demonstrates is you can see that this kind of mimics a transducer. This is the beam. Mm -hmm. Here's the sound wave. These lines here kind of represent areas of the sound beam that are compressed and areas that are not compressed. If you're asked on your boards, label the area that represents compression. This is where you would label it, right here. You can see how this line is pretty thick. You have a thick line and then thin lines next to it. Compression means an area of high density. So there's more okay. particles in this area. If you jump over here, do you see how this arrow is pointing to just one thin line? This area represents an area of rarefaction. Rarefaction means this is basically the area of the sound beam that's kind of stretched out and there's not very many particles condensed in one area. They're kind of spread out. And because the particles are spread out, that means that this area represents an area that's of less density. Whenever density goes down, the speed of the sound wave goes up. They're reciprocals of each other. In the areas of compression, you're going to have more compressed particles or a higher density. That means your, the speed of sound is going to slow down. The wavelength is going to be labeled right here. This area right here is called the period, which is basically just one cycle. Don't confuse period with wavelength because with wavelength, you want to look for either trough to trough or peak to peak. The period only has one peak and one trough. Then they could ask you, label the amplitude. They're both amplitude. Now, here's what you have to look for. When you go from just the baseline to the peak, this one is simply called amplitude. The line or arrows demonstrated here from trough to peak, this would be peak to peak amplitude. Thanks for watching.